Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a MacBook Pro laptop here. This one is a, uh, the 2010 model laptops and they were discontinued on 2011 so it only lasts about one year, no idea why. But they were still a good laptop, they are still good laptop. But they are really slow right now, the reason is because of the bottleneck on the hard drive. They, do, but they were shipped with a 250 gig hard drive, mechanical drive, but in this case we're going to show you guys on a step by step how to open it up, how to replace the mechanical drive with a solid state drive. You can grab any solid state drive, but I recommend you guys grab a Samsung brand or Crucial brand. Do not grab any Adata or Kingston brand. These are not really wild, uh, reliable and they will not last you uh, very long time but a client brought in an a data because it was a really cheap brand cheap option for them so we are going to install whatever they provide us so but even this is better than mechanical drive that they have in there so i'm going to take you on a step by step how to open it up how to replace your hard drive with a solid state drive and i'll leave the link for the, some of the good brand solid state drive in my video description so you guys can check that out all right, the tools that you want to need. First, power of the laptop, flip it upside down. Uh, the only tools that you want to be needing is a screwdriver set. A good screwdriver set is really necessary. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit tool set as they have one of the best bits out there. We're going to be using a Phillips double zero from here. So with this on hand, on the bottom cover, there is two types of screws, three long screws, and the rest are the short screws. The three long screws, they start from the bottom right towards the mid uh, second last one right here so this should be one two three so go ahead and remove these three long screws and keep them in one pile now we're going to start removing all the short screws again short screws they are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them also i realized there's only one person of my viewers are subscribed to my channel if you guys find my content helpful and helping you guys out and you want to support the channel you can just click that like and subscribe to the channel i'll greatly appreciate it and it will be a great support again there we go we removed all this the long screws and the short screws after that just from the back end of the laptop put your finger here and lift up the cover bring the cover up you can go ahead and clean up the cover if you wish down here we have the battery, the hard drive, DVD ROM and the motherboard right here. First what we're going to do, you do not need to remove the battery but if you want to be paranoid, you want to disconnect the battery, just go ahead and put your finger right at the back of the jack here and pull it upward towards the ceiling and the jack will come loose. Now the battery is down. The hard drive is right here, it's a 250, 250 gig hard drive. To remove the hard drive, remove these two screws right here. These are again Phillips screws. Remove them and remove the plastic on top. Just bring it to one side. Now, you can go ahead and lift up the hard drive from here gently. Bring it up slowly and slide it towards the front. And this adapter right here, with the adapter attached to it. Grab it and remove the adapter from the hard drive just like that so there's the hard drive but this hard drive has a little uh, screws right on the side with the risers we need these risers so you want to grab your ssd make sure it's facing the same position and the way you know is the pin orientation the sata connectors and the power connectors are in the same way so in the same connector so we're going to remove these two screws from here and place them right in here same thing on the other side. Remove, remove and place them in here. These screws are not Phillips. These are like a torque screws. So you will need a torque screw bit. So I'm guessing this one is a torque number six, I believe. Let me see. Yes, they are torque number six. So grab a torque screwdriver. Torque number six and remove these uh, risers from here and place them on the new one.
and there we go now we're going to remove the hard drive put it to one side grab the hard drive the ssd drive and bring and put the connector to it slide down this portion under the rubber right there and bring it and set it down on the right where the other one was bring the supporting bracket put it on top and with a phillips double zero go ahead and tighten up the screws remember right now you not have any operating system on this ssd so when you boot up it's not gonna go to the os so there's a after that let's go ahead and first plug in the battery just bring the jack straight over and push it down this one doesn't have any charge so grab the bottom cover bring it over remember and this is very important the way to screw the bottom cover always put the three long screws down first and gently tighten it up not too hard just put them right on top put the other two screws the long one loosely just put it on top you don't need to tighten it up once you did these three go ahead put the rest of the tiny screws on top gently do not tighten it up once you finish all putting all the small screws do a second pass and tighten up In download OS and connect your Wi-Fi and it's gonna download automatically the OS system and it's gonna download within I would say half an hour depending on your internet connection and you have your new system installed automatically it is very easy so the options it would be command and R I believe let me double check that yes so it is you're gonna hold down command and R and you're gonna press the power button and then you're gonna release and you're gonna keep holding these two until you get to the menu which it give you at the boot menu. Inside the boot menu, you're gonna choose your download and install the OS operating system. And it's gonna ask you to connect to a Wi-Fi connection. And pretty much that's it. I hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. Click that like button and think about subscribing if you wanna support the channel. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment and I always try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.